This visual method statement will explain, cable pulling procedure for LV power control. We will cover the following contents in this video. Purpose and scope. Responsibilities. Tools and equipment. Installation procedure. And references. The purpose of this method statement is to provide general guidelines for cable pulling procedure for LV power control. And scope is applicable to all substation projects. Responsibilities of project team includes as following, project manager is responsible of, overall responsible for ensuring the activity completion as per approved drawings and applicable standards. Site and construction manager is responsible of, site monitoring, coordination with related staff, control of all the construction's activities related to the LV power cable pulling. Site engineer will be, directly involved in the planning and execution of the activities involved in the LV power cable pulling work, responsible to ensure adequate equipment are mobilized at work's place prior to the starting the activity. QC engineer will, ensure and monitor LV cable pulling work. All activities to be executed as per client requirements, procedures, PTS, approved ITPs, and MOS. He will submit RFIs to consultant and arrange inspection for getting approval. Foreman is, responsible to execute activity of installation as per IFC drawings and approved MOS. Safety officer and in charge is, responsible for ensuring best health and safety practices across working, storage areas, and during equipment operations. He will prepare risk assessment for site activities. Following tools will be required to perform this activity, cable pulling machine, drum jack, roller, cutter, pilot wire. Before starting to execute this activity make sure the availability of latest approved IFC drawings and required NOC and work permits are obtained. The following activities are performed for LV cable pulling works. Before shifting the cables from store to pulling place, make sure all cables and wires are visually inspected for any damage. The cable route shall be marked and identified before pulling. The rollers shall be placed at a distance of 3 meters in cable trays and also cable trenches. Cable drum shall be fixed on jack in right direction. The pulling of cables shall be started at normal speed with watchmen, posted at different locations. Cable pulling eye hook shall be fixed at the top of the cable, and must be connected to cable pulling wire. Lubricant may be applied as necessary to reduce pulling speed. Cables shall be continuously pulled on cable tray in such a manner, that the cable, shall not drag out of the edge of cable tray. This video graphics will illustrate the proper pulling of cables over cables trays. And it shows how to use the rollers and avoid edges while dragging the cables. All splices shall be made on cable tray, 
no splice shall be made outside return flange of cable tray. An adequate length of cable shall be left after pulling, to make all necessary splices and termination. The pulled cables should be tied with cable ties, on cable tray at different intervals, appropriately. Identify each wire terminal boxes, cabinets, and termination boxes by slip or markers. The continuity of each cable shall be checked and record the results. The insulation resistance test between conductors and shield armoring shall be checked. To conduct, AC and HV test, seal cable ends, after test completion to prevent ingress of moisture. The following documents may be referred regarding this activity. Inspection and Test Plan, IDP. Quality Control Procedure for Identification and Traceability. Checklist and SOP3. Latest Revision of IFC Drawings. Project Technical Specifications. 11 TMSS 10 Saudi Electricity Company Standard. Thank you for watching. We hope this work methodology will be useful at site.